Hey guys, today I'm going to show you three apps you can use to make a Roblox GFX on mobile. The first one is Ibis Paint X. But the first thing you need to do is have some screenshots of you behind a green screen doing a pose. You can do it in any game, but I did these screenshots in Tiger Photoshoot. Then you'd want to open up Ibis Paint X and then press My Gallery. In there you'll see lots of your work that you've already done and you want to push the button in the bottom left, the plus sign. Then push import picture. Then you want to select the picture that you want to start working on and after you select it, you want to push the layers button and then tap on selection layer. After you've done that, just tap off. Then you should push the paintbrush button at the bottom and then push bucket. Then you just want to tap off of this and then tap on what you want to delete. So you just tap on the green screen and it should appear darker, that means you've done it, and then you should just zoom in to your character and make sure all the green is gone. You should do this by tapping on the really small part and then they should disappear. Then you're going to need to just straighten it up again and then tap on the layers button at the bottom and then push your green screen layer so then you should see dotted lines around your character. Then what you have to do is tap the bucket button and then go to eraser and make sure that the brush is all the way to the top and then just rub it all out and then your character should pop out of it. Even if you rub it out again it will still pop out until you take off the selected area. So then what you want to do is just put the eraser all the way to the bottom so then you don't accidentally rub it out and then tap this button at the top and then push remove selection area then there's no dotted lines so if you rub it off then you need to push the undo button then you want to push the add layer button and you have another layer then you want to push the camera button and import a background to get backgrounds you just have to download them from google or pinterest then when you select it you just want to make the size adjusted and adjust it to how you want it precisely then you can push the tick button to make your character appear, just slide your background in front of your character and then your character will pop out. And if you don't like where the character is positioned, just tap the layers button, then push the layer with your character, then push the transform button. Then you can move your character anywhere on your background and adjust it to how you want it to be. After you're happy with your GFX, push save and then save as PNG. Then when you go into your gallery, your picture will be right there and it looks really good. The next app you can use to make a GFX is Light X. So as always, you need to have screenshots of you doing poses behind a green screen. Then you want to go into the app. When you go in the app, push open at the top and then select your picture. Then push the pen button and push cut out. Here you want to go around your GFX, so that's the part that you're not getting rid of, and you want to do it quite accurately. And doesn't matter if it's not completely accurate because you can fix it again afterwards. Then push the next arrow, and then you'll have these keys at the bottom. Then push the button on the left, the transparent button, so you can see what parts haven't been done yet. The zoom button can be used to move around. Smart Erase and Smart Select get rid of it by itself, you just need to tap but sometimes you can actually get rid of it so you have to push the undo button. So the best thing is to just scroll and push eraser or the brush and then get rid of it manually, which can sometimes take a bit of time. After you think you're done, push the next button and then just crop it however you want it because it's more easier to place when it's cropped to the smallest it can be. Then push the next button. 
When you're here, you can put a solid background color. Or, and by the way, when you push back, it'll go back to the crop set. So you just have to push the thing and then cut out again, which is sometimes a bit annoying. And you can push background image and then you can pick a nice background. You get backgrounds from Google or Pinterest. And then when you pick your background, you can place it anywhere you want and just adjust it. Then push the tick to finish. Then it will take you here and you need to push the save button at the top and then push save at the bottom and then your image will be saved into your gallery. And here it is and I think it looks pretty good. The third and final app I'm going to be showing you is Background Eraser. First you're going to need screenshots. Then you should go into the app and push eraser. Then select your photo. Then you should crop it to the smallest size possible. Then push the tick button. After you're here, you can change the size of your brush that you're going to get rid of the green screen and the offset which is how far your finger is from the actual brush. Then you can start getting rid of the green screen which might take a little while and if you make a mistake just push the undo button it's best to work in small circular strokes Another way to get rid of them is push auto and then if you just tap then it should get rid of the green screen. You just put the middle of the circle where the lines meet and it will get rid of it nice and clean. After you're done push next. Then you can edit your photo by putting a background filters, stickers and text. I'm going to put a background image so you can get pictures from Google or Pinterest and just put it as your background. Then you want to adjust your GFX. Then push save. And when you go to your gallery, your picture will be there. And it looks like a nice close-up. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, share, and maybe even subscribe. Don't forget to comment if my GFX tutorial was good, or if you have any questions, don't forget to ask me. And don't forget to check out my social media pages, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Links in the description. And I also have an art channel that you can go to. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!